Well, welcome back. Going through Wooden Bong up near Legume now, or Legume, or whatever you want to call it. So what I'll do here is turn right, go up towards Kalani and out to Warwick, and then destination tonight is hopefully Colorinabri. There's a RV camping spot there that's supposed to be next level. It's free. Showers and toilets and stuff close to the pub. Just on paper or on the internet, it sounds good, but when I get there, I'll, I'll be the judge. I'll let you know what I think. So, all morning it's been overcast and crappy, which is good riding weather because it's nice and cool. It hasn't gone over 20 degrees. Oh, 22 degrees now. So, it's beautiful riding weather. Back of Kalani, everyone. Oh, me. Oh, oh, yeah. All right. Oh, wow, I didn't know this was up here. So this is Kalani, and every time I come through here, oh, they've got fuel here. I knew they'd fuel down there, but that's the way you come from Kyogle down there, and that's the main street. But just behind me, where we just were, I didn't know any of that existed. All right, so on the way to Warwick. Settlers route, you know what, stuff, and I'm going to go a different road today. This is a bit of a longer trip, but it's just coming through this little town here. Check this out. That well done. It's on private property, so I won't go in there. I should go over and just tell him how good it is, but I won't. Bloody traffic lights. Stopped at McDonald's, and um, oh, I'm not exaggerating. There would have been 60 people in there. I tried to order it with me McDonald's app, but it wouldn't let me. So I wasn't going to wait in line. I'm just a very impatient person. Beautiful Main Street. This one of Warwick's. Another place I could live. Oh no, that's Warwick. Bloody hell, even that coffee shop over there is going off. Look at that. That's great, isn't it? So, just coming into Englewood. I'm going a bit of a long way to Colorenabri, but I'm just sick of doing all the other roads so many times. So. This is Inglewood. I can't remember this place actually. It's been a while since I've been through here. Um, I'm going to stop here and have something to eat, I think. I wouldn't mind a sandwich actually. Egg and lettuce, something like that. Or a pie. Yeah, that's what I feel like. So, oh, wait on. There's something just there. Bakery bang, that's me. Do a U turn, and that is me. Or cafe there. Bloody hell, too many options. Pub could have a counter meal, but I'm not going to. I'm going to have a pie. Support the little guy. Otherwise, everything will be bloody closed down. Beautiful little clean town. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I didn't have a pie. I had a sandwich. And I was quite happy with it. I'll rate that. Wasn't too bad at all. 
trying to eat a little bit better. Not that it matters, but yeah, anyway. Well, this is Yelabin. I was out here the other week before I got my new camera, so I didn't video it. But just here, there's a RV park, showers. It's pretty bloody cool, actually. What an idea, $12 or something. How's that for a silo on? Silo art at Yelabin. How's that? That's pretty good, isn't it? Got fuel up here, and the pub was being renovated last time I was here. Which is in there. This is all cotton here as you can see, plenty of it. Interesting fact, before they can harvest it they've got to spray it and kill it and the pods open up and it dries out so they can't harvest it when it's green apparently. So that's the interesting fact for today. I think I'm about 100 k's from Collie and a, a Broy. So I've just come to this little town. Um, I'm not sure what it's called, Mugandai or something like that. I'll let you know in a minute. Bloody nice caravan park. That's always an option. If, I, if the fuel stations are closed, I love this fuel there, but it's closed. That's a nice bloody park. I'm, I see free camp going on there. And there is fuel up here, whether or not it's open is another thing. And it's open, dry weather road only. They say. So this is the road to Collar and Abri. It's turned to dirt on a 45 k's, probably not 45 k's of this, but there's a few k's of this at least. And you can see that it is a dry road only because when it gets wet, oh that's a bit furry there, when it gets wet it gets very muddy. Man, this isn't real nice, this. It's a dry weather road only. Call in a bride. Right, uh, so, find this camp spot. That's uh, 8 hours riding and 600k. So, I am fairly spent. the way down to Moree. Oh, there's fuel there, which is closed, but that's okay. Don't need it now. I'll get it in the morning. Them clouds look a bit ordinary, too. And there's the pub just there. Wave to everyone. Boat ramp. They said you can walk to the pub. Bloody hell, that's a long walk and everyone knows I don't like walking. Then people are camped in there. Here it is. I don't think I'll be... Uh, I don't think I'll be... walking into town somehow. Howdy. 
get somewhere where there's some grass and shells and toilets there I thought there was a um, undercover bloody thingy or oh, maybe over there <laughs> where no one else wants to camp that's just how I roll look at that bang that's me under that that is me all over what is now look at that for a nice bloody oval. Oh my god. Yep. Yep. Hey guys, this is the field or the camp spot that I'm camping at tonight. I've been doing this a lot lately and it seems to work out just underneath the cover here. I'll just go back a bit. It's underneath this awning. Got the chair there. I'll put the, the bed down there and the sleeping bag and just sleep there. It's safe. It's there, yeah, nothing wrong with that at all. So, saves so me having to put the tent up, that's for sure. Or I'll just have a share and then uh, come back over to the beautiful little outlet. Good morning, everyone. Beautiful morning. Weather's looking fairly nice going that way, so that's good. Camped there on the ground last night, wasn't a bad spot at all. Um, after a while, good to get some breakfast and then out to Burke and then Wanaring, I'm hoping. Bloody beautiful ground. Jeez, they've looked after this. Look at this. I wonder if they're irrigated. They must because it's just so beautiful. They've got a lot. Righto. And uh, that's me for another another night. Done. Okay, here we are on the road between Colorannabri and Walden really drawing. The old timer at the servo was saying they need rain out here actually. And it looks like it's going to rain he said. And I'm not too worried about it because they say, I don't know who they are, but they say 85% of the things that we worry about never eventuate. So there you go. That's today's bloody thought. I'm not too worried at all. If it rains, it rains. Not much I can do about it. Yeah, and there's a rainbow for us. Nice. Right, this is Walgut. Population two and a half thousand thereabouts. A lot bigger than I thought. I can't remember this place. Haven't been here for many years. Plenty of water in all these little creeks and rivers. Plenty of water. So, my main objective now is to find somewhere to have something to eat. Bowling club's not open. <laughs> not at 8.30 in the morning, it's not, dickhead. That old timer at the survey back there was telling me the government had an incentive. See all these windows haven't got bars on them? They've come out here and put crim safe on it. Government paid for all that. Just to make the place look and feel a bit safer. Look a bit better. on this place they haven't got out here yet with the money from the government yeah look at all the bars and the pub bars and the shops jeez they're rebels they ain't got any bars on anything that pub there, well, it's just uh, not working anymore, is it? I 
I've been seeing a lot of these guys on this road, a lot. They're a beautiful animal, aren't they? Very majestic. Yep, and off he goes. A few more. It's going to be interesting. Got about 90, 80 k's to go to Burke, and when I get there, I will decide what I'm going to do. All right, so this is Burke. Not sure where the main street is. I had breakfast and lunch out here um, when I went around Australian 21 and it was pretty good look at the water there so they've had a bit of rain out here home hardware I do a ruined trade I haven't seen one cafe yet. Um, I forget where the bloody cafe was. Oh, down there, there it is. It was, it was sort of tucked away. And there's the water there. the river down there and there's the cafe or was in there so let's see if it's still working it does look like it is yet so I'll we'll park right there our old matey's just come out of and I'll go in for a feed this is the old wharf at Burke hard to believe isn't it they had boats and paddle steamers coming up here incredible there's signs everywhere up there that says no diving no swimming like I'm not sure why you swim in that it's pretty bloody dirty wow I still haven't come across the turn off to Hungerford yet so I don't know where that is Oh, look at this coming up here. This is nice. Fairly loose. Oh, <laughs> people said that it was a bit shitty this road. I've got 20 k's of this. Well, actually, 19 now. Hmm. Anyway, it is what it is. kilometers of dirt was fairly average the first five or six k's was bloody atrocious check out the water um we campsite down there um, 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 um so i'm coming into one hour in uh, Check out their lawns. Like that's just bloody awesome, isn't it? So the main drag's down there. Oh no, here's the fuel here. Oh, this must be the general store it is too. Alright, well let's fuel up, let's not muck around. 
and then I will decide what I'm going to do. Alrighty, so this is Wenaring. Absolutely nothing here. Population of, I don't know, he said, but about 40. Nothing here other than the shop and a beautiful park. Oh, and that's the caravan park there. Man, that's... Yeah, that's what it is. So, what I'm going to do now, I rang the police up at uh, Hungerford. They didn't answer. So then I rang the pub up and I've got this, I would say, elderly person. And I said, um, what's the road like up there? She said, yeah, it's pretty good. And I said, oh, great. I said, you had much rain? She said, yeah, a little bit. And I said, so the road's wet. She said, oh, maybe just a little bit. And I went, okay. So it's just too, too tacky. If it's wet, it's tacky and it's just not going to work. And it's 85, 95, 100 k's to Hungerford and then if the road is average I've got to re travel that all the way back to Burke so I'm just going to leave it for when I go around Australia I'll come back home through Hungerford and back down come out out the road here and then go back to go back to Burke because she also said she didn't, wasn't sure or didn't know what the road was like from Hungerford to, to Kanamala. So I'll go back into Burke. Oh, that's a bit sandy. Here's the Hungerford turn off, so that's 85 in and 82 to Burke. Man, if I thought it wasn't wet, I'd bloody do it, you know. It's the Darling River. I was going to video this on the way over before. That's the old bridge. How cool is that? That's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, there's a bridge again. <laughs> so I've been into town. I've got fuel. Uh, I'm not staying at that caravan park just up here it's $50 a night from power and that sort of depresses me a little bit don't know where it is but there's a caravan park up here somewhere oh, 110 I'll be able to get there faster that's good so, but seriously, I'm looking for a anything I can stop and camp under. I don't give a damn. There's a free camp up here, actually, about 50 k's. So, worst case scenario, what have I got? About 45 minutes of sunlight left. As you can see, uh, the sun's gone down. It's 7 o'clock. And here is the rest area. It is a free camp, they say. Not sure who they are, but that's what they say. So, one guy over there burying a body by the looks of it. Oh, oh, oh got a shelter. Oh, white camp on the ground just there. Mate. Well, good morning, everyone. Nice morning, a little bit chilly this morning. Um, not sure what it'll be. Uh, well, it's only 14 degrees, but certainly feels cool had a fairly good night's sleep last night a few trucks on the road but other than that it was pretty good so on the way now to Kanamala a bit disappointed I didn't go to Hungerford yesterday but I wasn't going to take the risk it was probably alright too you know but anyway whatever Alrighty, um, Kanamala and then breakfast, which is about 200, about 190 k's, I think. So I'll do that, have breakfast, and decide where I'm going to go. What a beautiful morning, the sun's coming up. God, how good is this, eh? Hey? 
Donna Muller. That was uh, 170 k's this morning I've done so far, and that was just road, trees, grass, fences. Very, very ordinary ride through there. Very boring, actually. So Thargaminda and Yulo's that way, which I'm not going. Business centre down here. There he is over there. Um, room has a cafe, that doesn't look too bad. And that's about it for Kunnamulla. And there's Kunnamulla fella there. I won't stop and take a photo. I've already got about six muddy photos. Look at all the empty vacant shops. So just thought I would bring you into the Nindy Gully pub to show you what's in here. Haven't been in here for a few years, hasn't changed much. It's uh, It was sold many years ago and uh, ever since then it's just way overpriced. Got a top little pub but yeah that's the original pub just here in the corner. And uh, oh, that's right, the movie was uh, made here, Paperback Hero, with the Australian actor, whatever his name is, one with the big claws. I come here for my birthday once when the pig race was on, and we camped down there by the river. And it was that hot, we swam in that brown, yucky water. And it does get muddy here, look at this when it's wet. <laughs> hundreds and hundreds of people here and the pig races are on so yeah there's the Nindy Gully pub yeah, just had a paint job by the looks of it whoever done that done a good job looks good look at that wow but I'm not going to pay $25 for a hamburger so that was Nindy Gully everyone I hope you enjoyed it I did so about an hour and a half to Gundawindi and then when I get there I'll decide what I'm going to do. Well, I'm going to call that two beer. That's how I pronounce it now. That's how the English language should be, but I, I'm assuming that's probably wrong anyway. But anyway, so to beer or not to beer, that's where we're at. What a nice little town. Beautiful little pub. about it. Old park. Possible free camp under that shelter there. Toilets in the background. So here I am in Gundawindi. That's 670 k's for the day and like I said it's just not bothering me. The uh, the bum and that feels fine. So I'll go up here and get a feed, it'll be an early tea, late lunch, I haven't even had lunch, so I'll have something to eat and then I'll decide where to go. Well call me crazy but uh, that rest side I was thinking of was out of Gunnedah, not Gundawindi. Sound the same, same starting letter but uh, yeah wrong place. So, I was going to go to another campsite that I've stayed at about 60 k's out of Gundawini called Yalabin and camp there but there's no shelter and this sky is looking pretty evil. Well, the map's saying that there's a big front coming through there. So, I've decided to ride all the way home tonight. Just left Inglewood. 100 k's to Warwick and hopefully I'm riding that way because have a look at this look at the rain <laughs> look at the rain uh, dropping out of them clouds over there so that front is coming down to where I live so all that there is moving that way so I've got to outrun it I've just filled up fuel so I won't have to stop again I've got three and a half hours to go so I should be right oh, well you wouldn't know. 
Oh, well, well, there's a rest stop up here. I might stop and put the wet weather gear on. As you can see, it's started to sprinkle. And I'm better off putting it on in a rest area than on the side of the road. So I tried to outrun it, but it's just not happening. All right, I'll stop and put this on and, and then uh, keep them going. Four-wheel drive, here we go. All right, over and out. 5.30, and I've still got an hour and a half to go. So that is a big day. Just over a 1,000 k's, as I said. We're up to, so far, 910. Anyway, when I'm riding through Kyogre, I'll give you the update, and I'll tell you why i done what I've done. Alrighty. Alrighty, here we are at Wooden Bomb. My God, that was um, some ride from Kaladi. It was dark, and because it's overcast, and overcast, cloudy, and sprinkling, and I got a tin advisor. That was the bloody most dangerous thing I've done in a long time. I feel so alive, man. No, but seriously, that was so freaking dangerous. And I still got oh, 70 k's to go. I just take it slow, it'll be right. Yeah, well, that's the end of a big day. That um, 1,022 kilometres. And I've been on the bike um, 12 and a half hours. Oh, well, I've been, I left this morning at 7.30. And as you'll see from the town clock up here, it is now 8.05. Oh, there's no light on it. I've never noticed that before. Anyway, so a few reasons I wanted to do that is to make sure the bike could do it, which it can, make sure I could do it, which I can. And um, I, I rode this bike today, the hardest I've ever ridden a motorbike. Um, very rarely was I under 4,000, 5,000 revs nearly all day on and off, like I wasn't just holding at 5,000 revs for bloody two hours, I know you do damage, so I didn't do that. So overall the trip went well, didn't put the tent up again, just sleeping in shelters and stuff, which seems to work. Um, I'll, I've got a list of about eight or nine things I've got to do to the me pack and the bike, just little stuff. It wouldn't matter if I didn't really do them actually, but just to get it perfect for my trip and then I'm down in Coffs Harbour um, for a couple of weeks painting and then I'll come back and probably won't do another ride before I go around Australia so that's planned in June July maybe so we'll just wait and see alright well thanks for watching